actually just changing it up I um, got my Senko stuck on a branch across the river here and now I'm starting to second guess my um, four carbon leader to braid knot I was using an Albright knot and um, I'm stuck on that branch over here and I just probably could have pulled it off but there's a bass right there, about 10, 12 inches right in front of me. It's separated about, um, you know, right between the knot, four, four carbon leader and the braid. It's separated there, so. I just got him. I just got him. He's a big guy. He saw it right there at the, right there at the, uh, bank and he hit it. Ah, oh, this braid is tough on your hands. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nice little spotted bass. Probably maybe 14. Maybe maybe half or quarter pound. Beautiful fish. Turned around, he looked at it right there at the shore. And I sat there and paused, and he turned around and hit it. So that's pretty cool. All right, here you go, big guy. See you. Poor little jig, I tell you. The band has come off. Actually, yeah, I was saying the band had come off because I actually, you see the fishing line, I t you know, tied the rest of my jig skirt back on as best I could. It's gone. Caught quite a few fish on this one jig. So, I mean, I have no skirt left on the jig. It's naked, basically. I got a naked jig. All I got is a crawl trailer and a weed guard. So, well, it obviously works. Let's see if there's any more in this hole here. I'll move on and find a different spot. I knew that was there. I saw that one spotted bass. That's why I'm still here casting. But like I said, there's a lot of people that come up here, and jump in the water and swim in the evenings. Um, so I don't usually fish here that much anymore, especially after work, because I I just can't, you know, get the spots taken by people just swimming. But I'm having a hard time keeping this this crawl trailer on here now. There it goes. Interesting thing is if I wouldn't have seen that one fish right there, I would not have done that pause. That pause is what got him. So something to think about. I know I've heard a lot of people talk about um you know, they'll be on their boat, they'll be fishing, and they'll reach up to wipe their forehead, and that's when they get hit in that little pause. So keep that in mind. Sometimes you just need that little pause. Because I think they'll stalk your bait, they'll follow it in. Once they see it stop, and they nail it. I've had that happen quite a few times, actually. Hey guys, just left the river. Got a couple fish up there actually, had a good time. I got the first one on camera, but I thought that the camera was on for the rest, but it actually it was not. Caught a couple more fish, and actually those were pretty good catches. Um, I apologize, but I'm trying to get a better camera, better suited for, you know, chest mail. I've just got something rigged up now. Better than nothing though. Um, hope you enjoy watching, and uh, it's, eventually I plan to get a kayak and go up and down that river farther than I normally have. The holes I'm fishing in right now, um, got a lot of swimming pressure. People swim in there about daily. Um, and um, so, it does not get the best places to fish. But I'm gonna go on up and down the river with a kayak and actually start going to Carter's Lake with a kayak. Once I've, you know, got a couple things to take care of and I'm gonna get that kayak, uh, hopefully pretty soon. And uh, looking forward to getting out there and catching some more fish, covering some more water. And I'm uh, just enjoying what I do. It's a good way to spend an off day, and um, I look forward to it. So I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, until next time, see you later.